Sanatani culture should be careful about self-destruction because if Sanatani culture self-destructs, then the idea of freedom disappears, freedom of spiritual choice. Because then you have basically the founder religions and you have the religion of greedy capital and that leads to a lot of suffering and misery. So it is in the interest of the population here, firstly, to hold on to family, even though family can be quite challenging. To realize that if you are breaking up the family into nuclear families, you're already on a slippery slide. And if that happens, at least that the, that the nuclear family attempts to maintain its sanity, and it maintains that by being extremely careful about what is consumed. It's better not to buy than to buy. It's better not to take it than to take it. <coughs> it's better not to eat those sweets. The sugar is, is one of the biggest enemies. It underlies everything in the food area and it mesmerizes people and it pulls them in and then it swallows them. And not to be fooled by the jobs that capital dangles because those jobs are here today, they'll be gone tomorrow, like has happened with China. I mean, China is in trouble economically now because they are moving out of China and they're moving into India. They're going to do the same thing here. It's not any different. In another 30 years, 35, 40 years at the max, India will become an enemy and then it takes the same route as China and Europe and America itself. So, the danger faced by the Indian subcontinent is the danger of consumption. Don't be fooled by the advertising. Most of it is a lie. Don't be fooled by the corporate jobs. They are prisons most of the time. Certainly you need a job to feed your family, but try to find means that keep you free of the corporate world. Find your own little niche and do something there. And more than anything else, if the Sanatani can train himself or herself to move inward and to go with the truth, they don't have to make decisions about what to consume and what not to consume because that is decided for them by the truth itself. You don't have to uh, think too much about it. You take your, your ability to discern and you discern. Before you buy something, you ask the question, is this the right thing for me to do? And you know if it's the ahankar, the loud noise of the ahankar, or if it is the truth. And then you go with the truth rather than with the ahankar or the ego. These are the things that can be undertaken, but the dangers are very, very palpable, and greedy capital is very powerful. Greedy capital, it takes something to stand up against it. Basically, the big key is to say, no, I don't want to buy this. First, say no. Just no to everything. And once in a while, give in a little bit to buying something here or there. That's it. It's, it's, that's where the, the whole thing starts, you know. So if you don't need so many things, then you're also not going to become a victim of the corporate world, of the multinationals, you know, of the tech giants who are more dangerous than any nuclear weapon to this world. One can defend oneself in that one just refuses to consume more than is minimally necessary to live. That's the, that's the trick. <laughs>